prophecy reading and it is taken to us from messages to young people let us pray holy father loving lord we give you thanks for being with us thus far we thank you for your love and your mercies towards us father we pray that you'll be with us throughout this your sabbath day that you'll continue to groom us for you and that you'll help us to understand our purpose on this earth we thank you for your continued love and hearing and answering our prayers in jesus name amen The reading is chapter 29 on the victorious life. It begins, peace comes with dependence on divine power. As fast as the soul resolves to act in accordance with the light given, the Holy Spirit gives more light and strength. The grace of the Spirit is supplied to cooperate with the soul's resolve. But it is not a substitute for the individual exercise of faith. Success in the Christian life depends upon the appropriation of the light that God has given. It is not an abundance of light and evidence that makes the soul free in Christ. It is a rising of the powers and the will and the energies of the soul to cry out sincerely, Lord, I believe. Help, thy, help thou mine unbelief. I rejoice in the bright prospects of the future. And so may you be cheerful and praise the Lord for his loving kindness. That which you cannot understand, commit to him. He loves you and pities your every weakness. He hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. It would not satisfy the heart of the infinite one to give those who love his son a lesser blessing than he gives his son. Satan seeks to draw our minds away from the mighty helper to lead us to ponder over our degeneration of soul. But though Jesus sees the guilt of the past, he speaks pardon. And we should not dishonor him by doubting his love. The feeling of guiltiness must be laid at the foot of the cross, or it will poison the springs of life. When Satan thrusts his threatenings upon you, turn from them. And comfort your soul with the promises of God. The cloud may be dark in itself, but when filled with the guilt, with the light of heaven, it turns to the brightness of gold, for the glory of God rests upon it. God's children are not to be subject to feelings and emotions. When they fluctuate between hope and fear, the heart of Christ is hurt, for he has given them unmistakable evidence of his love. He wants them to do the work he has given them then their hearts will become in his hands as sacred harps every chord of which will send forth praise and thanksgiving to the one sent by god to take away the sins of the world christ's love for his children is as tender as it is strong and it is stronger than death for he died to purchase our salvation and to make us one with him, mystically and eternally one. So strong is his love that it controls all his powers and employs the vast resources of heaven in doing his people good. It is without variableness or shadow of turning, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Although sin has existed for ages, trying to counteract this love and obstruct its flowing earthward, it still flows in a rich currents to those for whom Christ died. Testimonies to Ministers, pages 518 and 519. Here ended the reading. Let us pray. Oh, 
most righteous and loving Father, we continue to serve you as we, we, we need to, as we ought to, as you want us to. We continue to ask of you to fix us for you. We continue to ask you to consecrate us. We continue to ask you to mold us for you and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. We are indeed wicked and a sad nation. We are indeed <laughs> pitiful and naked. We are indeed wretched. But dear God in heaven, we are so grateful that you are our God and you have made provision for such wicked nation, such a wicked nation, to ask for forgiveness and to come boldly, asking you to cleanse us and to make us a right for you. And so we ask that you'll just continue to mold and continue to fix us for you because we need your strength, we need your love, we need your help to go through each day. Moment by moment, we ask for your continued fixing and, and strength. And so we ask even today that you will be with our, th our, our thoughts, our tongue, and our actions. We ask, dear God, for your blessings upon us continually, and we ask for your continued mercies. Thank you so much for hearing us, and we pray that whatever we read and whatever is um, preached or whatever is uh, um, presented to us, that we will also understand and grasp your words from it. Thank you, in Jesus' name.